a Regulator 41. We are here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. We are with Scott with Regulator Boats. A Regulator 41 pros. The warranty is legendary. They really take care of the boats. They're comfortable for your family. They have huge storage uh, for fish and for gear. Big fold away rear seat. Live well. One thing you notice on a regulator, very clean, organized bilges. All your pumps and accessories are labeled in there. Boats without generators do have more room in here. This is a diesel generator. The other thing to remember with the regulator is that all the hatches and tubs in there are molded right into the liner. They're not screwed or anything. It's all one piece. So there's no components in there that can fail and rust over time. They're very strong, very durable. We've also got bro. Fold out. That's fancy. Flux capacitor. Love oh. box. Yup. Air conditioning vents. Integrated windshield with a vent so you can get more airflow. Seat so some people can sit, some people can stand. Another glove box on this side. Friction hinge door, wherever you leave it, it's gonna stay. That's sweet. I can tell you, you get kids on the boat and they don't think about that. Yeah. Down below, we have a uh, seating area, which the table folds down and converts into a queen size bed. We have a separate head and shower uh, with a cooktop, a microwave, refrigerator. Even the cup holders have drain holes and they drain overboard. Nothing drains into your bilge. One last inspector gadget trick, as we always do on the regulator. That is flush mounted up there. That comes up, you can stop it midway, put a cushion on it, you get a full sun deck. You can take all your cushions off, have a big casting deck, and it also goes all the way up into table height. Through stem bow roller with windlass, remote control at the bow, and there's also control at the helm. They've got power, comfort, and posh accessories. The cons are they're heavy and they're gonna use more fuel than the mono hulls. Less deck space because you got all these accessories and cabins and stuff on the cabin. You can't fish the edges 360 around, and if you're a serious fisherman, that can be very, very challenging, especially if you've got a big mahi or tuna or something on. You guys know that I'm a big catamaran guy, and the reason why it is because I got bad knees and bad back. And if I was going to get a mono hole, I would consider getting this as one of my top three choices because of the build quality, the heavy hull, and ultimately the ride quality because of all of that uh, put together. So. If you guys are in the market for monohull, check it out. Give uh, Scott a call. If you like this video, check out my other top five videos I've done at the boat shows. Here's a link right here for one. If you believe in freedom and you love fast boats and cool gear, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. We got many more videos to come, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.